Are you ready for some fish? Are we about to have some fish? For breakfast? Oh, stinky bread. You excited? Come on then. Good morning everybody. I am finally back in England, back in my flat as you can see, although my flat probably looks a little different to you right now. I have so much to update you on. <laughs> but first, I need lip balm. I am obsessed with these little EOS lip balms. Got them in America. This one's the vanilla bean one, but they're actually so moisturizing. You guys know that like I am addicted to the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. This is what I normally use as my lip balm, but it is so expensive and these are so affordable and I love them. But anyways, my first task of today is actually building a wardrobe because I have turned my office back into a bedroom. <laughs> I hate that I have nowhere for my friends and my family to stay and it just makes more sense right now for this room to be a bedroom with the plans that I've got moving forward with Juniper Moon which maybe I'll touch on in this video, maybe I won't. I have a wardrobe to build. This wardrobe was very kindly gifted by Mustard Maid. I've wanted one of these for so long. It's actually a locker but it turns into a wardrobe and the reason why I wanted this specifically is because if I buy another place, I don't know what the wardrobe situation is going to be there. They might have built-in ones etc so I thought that if I got a locker at least I could use that in an office moving forward rather than buying a wardrobe specific. The current state of this room right now is it is looking like this. So we have a bed. Bed is from Ikea. Absolutely love it. I'm actually getting this room painted next week. But I'm not sure what colour to go yet. It's currently like this grey on half of the wall. And then I've got this weird archway. Do you remember when that was a trend during lockdown? But I think I want to go for something more warm toned. I'm going to hang a TV there. And this is where the wardrobe is going to go. But let's go ahead and build this locker. And then maybe clean this mirror because this is ridiculous. Do you like my selection of snacks for if I get hungry in the night? We've got dry roasted peanuts, we've got Haribo, shortbread, and biscuits. And actually, these were from the train. I got the train back to Sheffield to pick Nelly up. Nelly is with me, which I'm so excited about. I miss him so much. But yeah, the train driver, he came around, he was like, would you like some snacks? He gave me so many things. But these are kind of left over from that. I am rambling. I have not filmed a YouTube video in a long time. These are the boxes that the lockers come in. So we have got some building to do. I thought maybe it would come built, but then that's probably silly to think. Not a lot of things come built these days. You have the time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. We are getting somewhere. I have unpacked all of the bits of locker and these are the instructions. I've built the base of it. That was kind of like tricky to build. It's definitely would be easier if you had two people. But yeah, just got to put the doors on now, I think. I have officially finished building the locker and it looks so good. I'm so chuffed with it. I don't really want to go into detail in this room because I am going to be painting it and like giving it a proper makeover. So I might just make that its own video. Let me know if you'd like that. But yeah, this is a mustard locker. As I said, it was gifted. I did fill it up really nicely for some pictures, but then I just took half the stuff out. Here we go. This is the inside. It's got one pole at the top. You can actually add another here that like goes halfway down, but I decided to go with shelving instead. Doing a brief interlude to the vlog to say a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Armra. Armra is the first smart superfood that builds your immune barrier back up, which is something I am so in need of. My immune system is rubbish, and I've already got benefits from taking Armra every day, and I can't wait to see how those benefits improve over time as well. So what is Armra, you might be asking? Armra strengthens the immune barrier of the digestive tract through the power of colostrum, which is also known as liquid gold. Colostrum is the first nutrition we all receive in life and contains 
contains all of the essential nutrients our bodies need to thrive. It contains bioavailable forms of over 200 nutrients, replacing a host of common supplements that people take. So this is like a one-stop shop. There's so much of the goodness that we need. Something that I'm really interested in at the minute is my gut health. I have been through a lot with my stomach and my gut health. Armour fortifies gut health and I have honestly noticed a difference in my stomach aches. It improves mood, focus and energy. That's something that I can't wait to see how Armour improves like as I take it as well. There's so many more benefits of taking Armour such as it enhances skin radiance, strengthens immunity and aids in activating hair growth. I have been losing my hair like no other. I went through quite a traumatic like health issue in January and apparently your hair starts falling out like six months after a traumatic incident at least that's what my hairdresser told me and my hair has been falling out to the max it's got so thin so I can't wait to see how armor is going to aid in assisting the growth of my hair as well you can revitalize your health and unlock the power of armor today by scanning the QR code I'm also going to leave a link in my bio if you want to scan the QR code or click the link you will get 15% off your first order which is amazing huge thank you to armor for sponsoring this part of the video now let's get cracking with the rest of it I now have 10 million, at least 10 million pieces of cardboard to take down to the recycling, so I'm just about to do that. But look at my cute little locker. I'm so chuffed with it. My hallway is just starting to look like a bloody recycling place, so I'm going to take all this down. Done. Minus one little piece of polystyrene that I can't be bothered to pick up. I just did three trips to the bins, and I live up four flights, and it is very warm today. <laughs> I actually am making some changes to my flat for the summer, because you might know that I hate summer, or I used to, it's actually okay. It's just that my flat gets so hot. Last year it got to 40 degrees, and it was horrible. So I'm kind of making some changes to make it livable, and I will show you those when I get back, but right now I need to pull myself together, because I'm actually going to see my friend Bianca. We're just gonna go get an ice cream and have a catch up. I've been struggling hardcore with my mental health for the last week or so, and I do just wanna say my friends have been absolute bloody angels. I literally love them all. I don't know what I would do without them. I feel like I went through so long in my life not really finding my people and I do think I've found them now and it's lovely. But yeah, I'm gonna go see Bianca. I think we're gonna go to Morocco's which is like the best ice cream place in Brighton in my opinion. It's actually in Hove. Would recommend. It's very nice ice cream. Wait. My whole point in saying that was that I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I have done to my flat to make it more livable because obviously getting up to 40 degrees in summer is not very livable and I'm not currently allowed to get air conditioning because of like rules and regulations in my building so maybe when I get home from seeing Bianca I will go through a couple of things that I've done but I'm just about to pull myself together quickly let's chip chop hello my little worm no oh, we love you everybody's missed you this is the outfit that we're going for this little dress from Whistles. Not sure if it's still being sold, but if it is, I will link it. Still absolutely bloody loving my locker. Every time I walk past, I'm just like, oh, yes. It's me, I'm back. I have just got back from the beach seeing Bianca. Very disheveled, as you can see. It actually got kind of cold when we were down there. But yeah, I didn't really eat any ice cream because my ice cream melted and then fell off the cone before I had a chance to eat it, so that's sad. I am actually about to record a podcast episode with Cam. It's nearly 9 p.m. I've got to record at 9. Still got to set my microphone and stuff up. But she asked people for questions when we were in Brighton. We were going to record it here, and then we both got really sick, so got to record it now. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's now the next day. I thought I would just carry this vlog on for another day. My mum's actually visiting for the day, so we're gonna go and have a little walk by the beach. And I need to get some paint from Pharaoh and Ball. I think I've decided on the colour that I'm gonna paint that bedroom. And it is literally the same colour it is right now, but I just want it like up to the ceiling. Because there's this little patch in my hallway that I'm so frustrated about. Basically, my hallway is painted strong white by Pharaoh and Ball, which is the same colour as the bedroom. When I have my light switches installed I had to do like a bit of patching work around them and I just bought a tester pot of the strong white color from Farrow and Ball and I like painted where I'd done all the fixing that was a mistake because the small pot wasn't the same kind of finish so now I've got this big like 
matte paint bit I'm gonna show you in a second around the light switch when the rest of the wall is like a little bit shiny and you can't buy that paint color in anything less than a big tin which is so frustrating so I just thought if I get it for the bedroom then I can kill two birds and get rid of the annoying patch on the wall but also just paint the bedroom can you see it it's the same color as the wall but just a different finish my walls are in modern emulsion and this I think is just matte and it's oh my god it's so frustrating but yeah I don't want to buy a tin that's like 50 pounds just to paint around that so I may as well just paint the bedroom this color Hello everybody, I am back and I thought I would do a little haul because I just went to Waitrose. Essentials though, got some Monster Munch. I got some boxes of tissues because I've run out of those. Soy sauce, very important. I got some corned beef, I used to love eating this. Some prawn toast, mum and I are going to have like a little Chinese tonight. So I also got a Chinese style chicken curry. Jane got a chicken in Szechuan style sauce, which sounds nice actually, minus the peppers. I got these croutons, I love them. They're like tiny, tiny little croutons. I'm trying to do this quick because my camera ran out of space when I was out, more tissues, and I just like deleted a couple things. Anyways, oh my God, that breeze is nice. It's so hot today. I got Parmesan. My granddad used to have this Parmesan and it's like the grossest, most cardboardy Parmesan, but it is absolutely banging. <laughs> I love it, it's so nostalgic. I got some of this washing liquid, which is my favourite. Prawn crackers for the Chinese. And some clotted cream rice puddings. And basically, my mum had this voucher that ran out today that if you spent £30, you got £5 off. So she basically just said, go in the shop and pick things that you wouldn't normally get. And yeah, we will buy them and get £5 off. So like I got the little croutons and the parmesan and the clotted cream rice puddings. And that's my little haul. Let's make the Chinese because I am hungry. Here we go. This is tea for tonight. Looks lovely. So this is one of the things that I've been using on my windows. I've currently only got it on one, but hopefully this box will fit on two more. And it's basically a magnetic fly screen, but it means that your pets can't get out of the windows as well. It's like very stuck onto the windows and I will show you in a sec. I got it from Amazon. It comes in this box with all of these bits and I'm about to put one on the bathroom window so I can create like a tunnel of air through the house because I've got one here and then the bathroom is over there so I want like a wind tunnel you know anyways this is what the screen looks like it's basically held on with magnets but it's hard to pull it away like there's no way that Nelly could do that or figure it out so I wanted to recommend this if you do have pets but you are wanting to open a windows because it is great you can barely see it too I've also just put one on this window in my living room as well so now I can have so many windows open get loads of fresh air in I'm gonna link this stuff below another thing that I'm doing to keep the heat out is getting blackout curtains and as you can see I also blocked this window out with like black cardboard I'll take that down when summer's over but that window is such a difficult shape to get a blind for. <laughs> Anyways, I had these ones up that are blackout curtains, but they're just too heavy and you can't really push them back. They just won't push back enough. So I've taken some that I'm going to hang in the other room just to see if they were long enough. And I'm just about to change them to those, which I think look nicer to be honest, because they're white. This keeps the heat out an insane amount though. I haven't had blackout curtains up in this flat and it has just made the biggest difference already. These ones are from John Lewis. They're such a nice fabric. They've got like texture to it. And I'll link them below if you're interested because they are very blackout. I need to actually buy another pair for my bedroom. Hello everybody. Please ignore the disheveled look. I am editing. It's half past midnight. I've just got to the end of this vlog and I've realised that I just did not end it. I didn't film anything more. So I'm sorry about that, but I do want to end it here. I've got some footage still from Nashville and Chicago. Please let me know in the comments if you would still like me to edit that together and upload it. It definitely will if like enough people want me to. Or is it redundant now because it's been so long? You tell me. But I'm gonna head off. Don't forget to check out Armour and redeem your 
15% off with the link below. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Bye!